So this little rock has had an amazing history. I mean, it, it approached the Earth as part of this bigger fragment at about what, 18, 19, 20 kilometers per second. It hit the Earth's atmosphere about 85 kilometers up. It began to feel the, the effects of the Earth's atmosphere. The, it began to squash the air in front of it, it, it create a pressure wave essentially, which in turn causes this thing to heat up. And it would have heated up to something like the temperature of the surface of the sun. It would have been five, 6,000 degrees Celsius as it plummeted through the atmosphere, lit up the sky over here, and then quite literally exploded in a series of explosions and peppered these fields with lumps of rock this big. Can you imagine standing here on that night and having this, these things, and this is, heavy, right? raining down from the sky. It must have been quite incredible. If the meteorite had hit the ground intact, the explosion would have been equivalent to 400 tonnes of TNT and left a crater 20 metres wide. The Earth was spared this colossal impact by nothing more than the tenuous strip of gases that surrounds us. But not all planets have this protective blanket. When a meteorite hits naked Mercury, there is no atmosphere to break it up or slow it down. It strikes the ground at full speed and completely intact. For the last 4.6 billion years, Mercury has been bombarded with countless asteroids and comets. The whole history of the planet's violent past is laid out on its surface. A world pitted with hundreds of thousands of craters. Craters inside craters inside craters. Mercury was damned from the start. It's simply too small and too hot to have retained any meaningful traces of atmosphere. We, on the other hand, are big enough and cold enough to have retained this envelope of gases. 